Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to showcase now that you want to check if a document set is already created, is already present in the SharePoint document library. So this is again a very important scenario, uh, I will say, because let's say uh, there is a flow or a process which you are following in one of the requirement and you have to check while uploading the files to the document set whether the document set is already created then you will be uploading the files in that document set if it is not created then first you will be creating a new document set so that's the intent of this video and i will be showcasing that how you can check that if a document set is created or not in a sharepoint document library using power automate but before proceeding proceeding uh, in this video I will recommend that I have already created two videos related to this document set only. Please watch those videos first, those two videos, and then you continue on this video because the first video which I created was create document set dynamically. The second video related to document set I created was upload files dynamically in the same document set. And now this is the third video of the same series, I will say that if the document set is created files are already uploaded now the user again wants to upload more files or attach more files to the same document set so do you want to check if the document set already exists if it exists then do some actions if it does not exist then first create the document set and then upload the file so that is the scenario we are talking about here so for this uh, I will be creating a power automate and in this power automate these are the series of actions which we will be using to check if the document set exists in SharePoint document library or not. Please remember uh, I will be using a REST API call to check if the document set exists. So let's see this in action. Let me navigate to the uh, SharePoint screen first of all to showcase the document library where I have already uh, created a document set. The document set name is demo by Whipple. So this is the document set which we will be checking in the Power Automate whether it exists or it does not exist based on the conditions. So let's see this in Power Automate step by step. I will go very slow. Please uh, understand that what is the scenario we are talking about. The scenario is let's say document set is created the files are uploaded and now user again wants to upload some more additional files to the same document set. So basically there is an ID which has already been created in SharePoint and now to the same ID you want to check whether the document set is created so that the files will be uploaded in the same document set. If it is not there then you can create a new document set. So let's see this in action in Power Automate now. So first of all, I have used manually trigger a flow just for the demo purpose. Now variable for document set name, I have created or initialized one variable. You can use the action initialize a variable. That is the action which I have used. The variable name is path, where path. Here I am taking the value as this is my uh, document library name, SharePoint document library name, pp document set slash the document set name which i want to check as of now you can see i have given some hard coded value just for the demo purpose but in your practical scenarios or live projects you can pass the id or the name of the document set from power apps to the power automate so basically here you will be uh, taking the value as uh, ask in power apps or which will be coming from the power apps to the power automate for the demo purpose, I will be checking this demo by Whipple document set is there or not. So this is the variable which I have created, which is the path of the document set. Another variable which I have initialized, variable to check if document set exists. This is a boolean and the default value I have kept it as false, where document set exists. So just to check the condition yes or no or maybe true or false in Power Automate. So I have kept this variable and the default value is false. Now comes the most important part, how to check. That is called the send HTTP request to SharePoint action, which I have used. So this is the site address. The method is get. Why get? Because we want to get the document set and check if it exists or not. That's why the method is get. The URI. 
the rest api endpoint or the api endpoint this is very important to understand here and this is the takeaway for this video i will say underscore api slash web get folder by server relative url path get folder by server relative path decode url equal to where path slash exist so this is the complete rest api endpoint which i am using as the uri and some headers please note this is the most important part for this power automate because this is the api which will be checking the path or the name which you have provided whether it exists or it does not exist that is the most important thing here then after once i have the response i am using the parse json so this is the body of the previous action or the output of the previous action which i am using which is giving me a property called exist a boolean property called exist so i will be using this boolean property so that's why i have set an, uh, a variable so earlier you remember i initialized a variable the variable is where document set exist this is the initialized variable now i am setting this variable with the value exist which is the output of this parse json once this is done this is the final step where we are checking the condition if where document set exist variable if it is true if it is true means that it will go to this particular section if yes then some actions can be taken here if it is true means that the document set exist in our sharepoint document library if it is uh, not true or false then it will go the power automate will execute this particular section of the power automate and some other actions can be added accordingly all right so for the demo purpose what i am going to do is i am going to test this video now and uh, how to test it that i will test it manually since the document set is already present so ideally this flow should navigate to the yes section that is the ultimate output we are expecting so let's see this let's let's test this so i am clicking on test i am clicking to test manually let's test it so what it will test basically that whether my document set exists and then which path should be executed whether uh, as per the condition whether it's yes or no so the flow has ran successfully now since the flow has ran successfully we can check that which part of the power automate has been executed so you can see all the actions all the steps are executed now this is the most important step which we have to check the condition condition is true so you can see here the condition is true and that's why this yes section has been executed and no section has not been executed so whatever actions you will write uh, in the power automate in yes those will be executed because your document set exists in the sharepoint document library so that's all for this video the intent was to showcase that how you can check whether the document set exists or not and accordingly you can take further actions in power automate and this i have implemented using a rest api endpoint thank you